What was the Star Wars experience like for you? <laughs> oh, you are naughty boy. You know you've been reading things about me. <clears throat> well, I don't think I'll share... Yes, I will. Uh, how we've proposed it. See that? It's over 12 inches from there to there. Big feet. Um, now, uh, uh, Berman and Nathans have looked after me, man and boy, for years and years and years. And they've never let me down once, except on this occasion, because I was dressed as a, rather like an Edwardian chauffeur, with a, a high collar up there and a sort of fountain pens across here, as Grand Moff Tarkin <laughs> in Star Wars. And a pair of boots, riding boots, was that came right up to here, tight-fitting, you see. Incidentally, I've often wondered what a Grand Moff is. Sounds like something that came out of a closet. Close closet. <laughs> Grand Moth, you know. Uh, I've gone off the track. They hadn't got time to have my boots made for me, which is usually the case, because of my large feet. So I had to do with a pair out of stock. So there I was on the first day of shooting, this very, very cross, uh, unpleasant gentleman, Grand Moth Tarkin, stomping around, and it was agony ivy. It really was. So the next day I said to dear George Lucas, the director, I said, George, I am not asking for close-ups, but do you think you could shoot me from the waist upwards from now on? And he said, why? And I explained the reason. So he said, oh, all right. And he gave me a pair of carpet slippers. So for the rest of the film, I stomped around, looking extremely angry and very cross with that dear little Carrie Fisher, as old Grandma started in carpet slippers.